we need to find the value of x for the given logarithmic equation. So let us begin. So what we'll have, we will rewrite the equation as log of x plus 1 plus log of x minus 1. That will be equals to, here we have 3 log 2. Now this, we can rewrite it using a property of logarithm. That means if we have a times log of b, so that's equivalent to log of b raised to the power of a. Now that means we have log of 2 cubed plus log of 3. Fine. That's the only reason we're writing in this particular fashion is because now we can combine the two logarithm on both the left hand side as well as the right hand side using another property of logarithm. That is if we have log of a and that's added to log of b, that that will be equals to log of a times b. Now let's use this property. This will give us log of x plus 1 multiplied to x minus 1 and that's equals to log of 2 cubed, so 2 cubed is 8, multiplied to 3. Right. This will be log of x squared minus 1 equals to log of 24. Now, when the base is not provided, by default it's 10. So since the both the two logarithm has a same base of 10, we can equate them and get rid of the logarithm to get x squared minus 1 equals to 24. Well, that means x squared is equals to 25. Taking the square root, x is equals to plus or minus 5. But we're giving the condition here that x value is greater than 0. And that's always true. That means whenever we have logarithm of x, this is only defined for values of x greater than 0. In this case, it is defined. But if we have x less than or equals to 0, then our logarithm is going to be undefined. So we'll consider only the positive value of x. So this is the solution to our given logarithmic equation.